My uncle, as far as I know, he's a... In the last 50 years, Woody Grant has spent untold hours searching these hills for artifacts left by his Indian ancestors. Now, that's a piece, John, that they'd use a large piece and keep chipping smaller pieces off and flaking arrowheads out of this white flint. The area around Old Fort was once home to a thriving Indian population. Woody's grandmother, a full-blooded Cherokee, grew up and raised a family here. She passed along a rich legacy of Indian heritage, as well as an Indian name, to her grandson. She named me Manwa when I was four years old, and I asked her what that meant when I was about 18 or 19 years old, and she said that means keeper of the stone. I told her, I said, I don't have any stone. She said, you will have. Little did Woody realize how prophetic that was. How many individual pieces do you have in the collection? Well, 350,000 pieces, John. Wow. And you collected most of them yourself? Yeah, 95% of them. With an additional 275,000 pieces not displayed here, Woody has what is believed the largest Indian artifacts collection in North Carolina. Most of it made up of stone tools and arrowheads found in a seven-mile radius around Old Fort. This is a poison arrowhead. Many of the pieces are rare or unusual. This is one of a group of 29 tomahawk heads Woody found encased in clay. Here, an effigy stone. This, his grandmother's medicine stone. They're very sacred stones, and the medicine ladies carried these. Three years ago, friends convinced Woody to open a museum. Already, he's in need of more space. I'm trying to preserve the heritage and uh, relate to the young people especially the things that went on before them, and they're still good things. They should be preserved. 